Did you know there used to be two different ways of playing TF2 officially? For around three years, there was another version of TF2 on Steam called the Team Fortress 2 Open Beta. This was a version that was open to all premium members of the standard TF2 game. Now, you might be wondering, why have two versions of the same game live at the same time? Well, it turns out this open beta build of the game was being used to test out other weapon concepts and tweaking weapon stats without messing too much with the main video game. Now, some of the concepts for the weapons actually seemed pretty interesting as well, but reading about them makes it fairly obvious as to why they were scrapped and never added into the game properly in the first place. For example, the main one that drew my attention was the Beta Pocket Rocket Launcher. A rocket launcher that used the direct hit model but had different stats. Those stats were that if you were being healed by a medic and the medic ends up dying, you got crit boosts for 8 whole seconds. Seems a little bit overpowered if you ask me personally. Now this did then get changed 2 days later to 6 seconds of a mini crit boost, but it still seems a little bit crazy to me. And realistically, if there was no other downsides, would you really equip anything else? The other new concepts themselves were also fairly interesting. There was a beta syringe gun that was in the game for a while, and it turns out the final version of this weapon actually became the overdose. However, the earlier versions of this weapon apparently were going to be completely different, where it would shoot a lot slower, but give the mad milk effect to any enemies it hit, which just sounds so weird. Turns out that concept also made it into TF2 in a way, just as an MVM upgrade instead of a whole weapon. The other two weapon concepts was a pocket shotgun, which dealt 25% more damage while being healed by a medic, but reduced the switch speed of the weapon while you weren't being healed by a medic. Seems pretty good. And the final one was a sniper rifle that would charge faster based on your hit and missed shots, which just to me sounds absolutely hilarious. If you hit someone, the charge rate would increase by 35%, and if you missed, it would be decreased by 65%. To me, that sounds a lot like how the Bizarre Bargain used to work. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to consider the fact that maybe they had that concept and then reworked it into the Bizarre Bargain and made it better. There was also a bunch of weapon stat changes that they seem to have tested out in this build of TF2. Some did end up getting implemented, while others ended up just getting scrapped and forgotten about, which is about what you can expect. Not every change to every weapon will work the way you think it will. I just find reading about old ideas Valve had and finding the stuff that they were working on to just be really, really cool, especially when the ideas are like super out there and a little bit wacky by today's standards for the game. I would absolutely love to do a deep dive into more of this stuff that could have made it into the game or was in the game and got cut before most people got to play with it. I just find it all really interesting. Like this is the history of TF2. I do actually remember playing this version of TF2 alongside the regular build of TF2 for some reason and I really enjoyed both. I don't personally remember the different weapon concepts or anything like that but maybe I just didn't play it as much as I think I did. All I do remember from it is that at one point, the inventory that I had in my open beta was better than I had in the main TF2 game. There were actually a few other things that were in the files for the TF2 beta build, like this decal stamp pin looking item, and then some code about a wall base that sounded like it was another building for the engineer, but never made it kind of past that point. It does sound like a lot of the stuff that was in the code for the beta build was also in the code for the main game build, which would make sense. However, on June 7th, 2013, the TF2 open beta build of the game was taken down. I guess Valve realized that they kind of no longer needed it or they were wanting to test things internally or in different ways. Who knows? 